Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You, and in this video, we're going to be going over one of the most OP shiny hunting methods possible in this game. It's known as Shiny Mass Outbreak Hunting. I'm going to go ahead and just show you my game. These are all the shinies I got in one day, in a couple of hours, playing this game. Mantine, Machamp, Gyarados, Pokemon I don't care about too much, but looks pretty cool. Gastrodon and Ninetales. Now, if you want to be like me and catch a lot of these shinies, you're going to have to really, really pay attention to this video. Don't skip around. Listen to all parts. And once you understand it, then jump back to all the parts you need. But yes, this video is going to help you become pro shiny mass outbreak hunters. So if you enjoy this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe for more like this, and let's get on into this. Before we get into mass outbreak shiny hunting, I just wanted to share with you some things about natural shinies and some discoveries I've made in the game. I have seen four shinies by just naturally exploring the world and exploring the features within the game. Some of the shinies I got include worm pool. Oh, oh, you saw the thing. Sparkle, we saw, you the, saw thing. the thing. Throw, saw the, the, throw thing. the ball. Okay, let's catch it. Here we go. His homie's like, yo, what are you doing? Yo, it's done, let's go, shiny. That was the first shiny that I got in Obsidian Fieldlands. And what we learned from that was that you can save before you encounter a shiny Pokemon so that if you restart your game and boot it back up when you see the shiny, the shiny Pokemon will be right there, which is why me and Austin John Plays got super excited in that clip. Turn off auto save in the settings. Two other shinies that I got was Murkrow in the Cobalt Coastlands on top of a hill. And out of volcano spot, it was Graveler just rolling along there randomly. It was just so cool seeing them and unexpected that you jump for joy when you see shinies. Basically, what I'm saying is shinies feel really natural in the game. Now, I did bump into one shiny that I did fail. And here's the clip. Up here. Oh, oh, I heard a shiny sound. Oh, oh, shiny Breezel. Breezel, Breezel, Breezel. Okay, Pokeball, Pokeball. Throw, 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 throw. And we're good. Ah! I was so sad when I lost that Pokemon because I forgot the cardinal rule number one when you see a shiny save the game and that was a clear example of why you should save and probably the most embarrassing clip of my life in this game but then again I shared my clip with you so you don't have to make that mistake but seeing a shiny can get you very excited and you can do stupid things so please save the game before a shiny. When you exit out of Jubilee Village in the game, you'll get a message saying, I'm hearing reports of one of those mass outbreaks out there. Stay safe, kid. Then you'll continue to open up your map, and then you'll notice that there are Pokemon icons on the screen. In this case, we have Cricketune here in the Crimson Mirelands, and we have our Basculin in the Cobalt Coastlands. Now, what we're going to be doing is heading over to the Crimson Mirelands to see exactly what this mass outbreak is. It's pretty much when a lot of a Pokemon spawns in an area. So let's just go ahead and zoom in on this map and we're going to see exactly where it is spawned it's going to be all the way up here so as you can see when you go to the map itself of the area it's going to stay in the same spot they don't travel it's not a mystery it's not a secret to where they are i'm here at the brava arena just double check your map to see where they are cricket seems to be very close by so i'm just going to head down over here i just heard a shiny in this video i don't know where it is Oh my god, there's a shiny Cricketune that just spawned in my tutorial video. This is the greatest video ever. So this is a mass outbreak that has been reported. And as you can see, there are a bunch of Cricketunes here. I cannot believe I'm literally staring at a shiny Cricketune. As you can see, when we walked in the area, it said we have an outbreak. I'm having a really hard time speaking properly about this tutorial because there's a shiny on my screen. I did not expect this to happen, but you will notice there are at least four Pokemon there. You can see there's the shiny Cricketune and three other Cricketunes, but there's always four. If I happen to catch one, it'll show a respawn of another Cricketune. And then there is another one that spawns over there. So you can see that when you catch them, they will continue to respawn. When you stop seeing four of them respawn, you'll know that the outbreak is coming to an end. Let me just clear out this outbreak for you guys, but also get the shiny in the process real fast. So I'm gonna go ahead really slow here. As this Cricketune is sleeping, this is like the best time to catch a Cricketune. Literally right here. That's it. Shiny Cricketune. Get in the ball. The rest don't matter to me now. So I'm going to clear out the outbreak for you guys. Show you guys what happens as we dwindle down here. Okay. Uh, some of them ran away and some of them I caught. And they no longer spawn. And as you can see, it says the outbreak pretty much has gone away. At this point, you know you've cleared the area 
completely. Here's the cricket tune that I just caught. It is officially mine. It is here. This is from this outbreak. There you go. And there's the sparkles on it. Really cool. And uh, I'm going to just, you know, this is going in the photo album. Once you're done with this outbreak, you're then going to exit to the village. So just leave. If you got a shiny here, make sure to save right there at that time because the game may crash. It happened to me once when I was going back to the village. So please save just in case it happens. All right. So I'm back at the village. And if we go over here, that outbreak should be gone. And as you can see on the map, the cricket tune is no longer on this map. It is now a crow gunk over here and a ergoli on this side. So outbreaks have changed. Shiny cricket tune was not supposed to show up in the video at all, but I'm going to bring up this picture anyway. There's an NPC in the game that shows up that basically says, I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in the mass outbreaks was a different color from the others. This was actually the confirmation that you can get shinies. My video <laughs> showed you that without even needing the NPC player. But from this, you can tell the game itself wants us to use this method to find shiny Pokemon. I named three possible methods. It's my own names, not official names for how to use this method. The first one is known as single mass outbreak hunting. The second one is known as single mass outbreak chain hunting. And the third one is known as multi-mass outbreak hunting. But before we get into each one of those, let's go over a few basic rules. The most important rule is to turn off autosave within your game. Autosave will mess up what happens in your game. So just turn it off and you'll be good. One of the first things to know is that all Pokemon in a mass outbreak are already predetermined as soon as they show up on the map. So when I talk to this person and go to the map, you can see the Crow Gunk showing up in the Crimson Mirelands is going to always be there. Now it doesn't matter. If there is a shiny Crow Gunk that's there, no matter what, it will always show up as shiny. Now, if I save in Jubilee Village before I even go there, I can restart my game, come back, go back into that area, and it'll still be shiny no matter what, as long as I'm restarting from the village. If you decide to go into the area and then save beforehand and keep restarting your game, that is not going to change the spawns. They will always be the same spawns because they are determined from Jubilife Village. The only way to change the spawn of the area is to go into that specific zone and then leave the zone. In this example, you would go into Crimson Mire Lands, do not save, and you would just leave the Crimson Mire Lands. And then when you come back, if there is a Crow Gunk still there, it will then happen to be a different set of Crow Gunks that spawn. I have a great example on my screen here regarding a single outbreak over here. This is a Magikarp. It's already spawned. I save at Jubilee Village, and then I head over to that Magikarp, thinking it's going to reset every single time out of the frame. I go there, and I fly over there, I catch a bunch of magic carps here, nonstop. I keep doing it, and me not knowing, I just keep doing it over again. I reset my game. I'm wondering why it's not happening at all. I go back again and again and again and again, and I keep doing the same thing over. I then decided to look at all the magic carp stats and write them down to make sure that why are they never showing up as shiny? And they ended up all being the exact same stats. So, so this little test I did proved that the magic carps were all the same because I kept coming in from Jubilee Village. Once I left the Obsidian Highlands and came back out to Jubilee Village, my map was pretty much reset. So when I talked to him, I then had Magikarp spawn with Rhyhorn and Lickitung. So I had three outbreaks happening at the same time. So I then was kind of curious what would happen if I went back into this Magikarp. So I go into the area by selecting it. So I'll go ahead here. We're just going to fast forward a little bit, not waste your time. I take Bravery. I fly back over here, go under the bridge. It's the exact same spot where they spawn. And then I start to catch them right there, back to back to back. And in the clip, I then start to notice that there is a noise. But if we go a little more forward here, you can see that a magic, a shiny magic carp spawned right behind me, right over there. And I'm going to go ahead and catch this magic carp. And I end up doing that. And I saved only a Jubilee Village, by the way, before coming here. So the only way for me to prove this was to then turn off my game. So what I did was I literally closed out the game right here. If you want to see it happen? Game's closed, completely closed. And then when I reboot, I come back to Jubilee Village where I made another new save once I left that previous one where I wasn't getting shiny Magikarp. I talked to the guy again, as you can see over here. It's exactly the same map again with all three of these guys spawning this time. I go into the Magikarp one. Again, I fly over here. And my goal is just to prove that golden Magikarp can spawn here. The shiny Magikarp can happen. Got some Pokemons here. 
That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And the shiny should spawn right over there. There it is. That's the same shiny. So I almost risked a shiny Pokemon just to test this experiment. And I was terrified. I thought I lost it forever just because the panic of who walks away from a shiny or shuts their game off, right? But in this game, you can do that if you save properly. So there's the Magikarp. I do end up catching it over here. And then we move a little more forward in the clip. And then you can see it It's in its glory outside here. There's the Magikarp that I got earlier. There's nothing to worry about when you walk into a zone and see a shiny and then leave it because that spot will always be shiny. But remember, by leaving a zone, I mean resetting a zone. If you walk out of the zone, directly walk out of it, it's gone. And if you, especially if you save after that. But if you save at Jubilife beforehand, you're good to go because when you reset, you just pop back into Jubilife and you can see your Pokemon. I hope you guys understand this point. This point is very big for the three methods now that we're going to go into. If you happen to walk into a map and there's nothing there, all you have to do is simply just click on any area, walk into it, then return back to the village. Okay, this is the third time, just double checking, and the mass outbreaks happen. All right, so let's go back to the methods we talked about. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the single mass outbreak hunting. This one's pretty simple. It's pretty much when you have just one Pokemon spawning on the map. One Pokemon spawning on the map, or just one section you care about, you literally don't care about anything else. If that is the case, you do not have to save in Jubilee Village, then save right over here. After you save, you're going to head over to your target. In this case, it's going to be the Chansey. We close, we close. And there they are, right there. And what you're going to be doing is you're not really going to be caring at this point about the other outbreaks. So you're just going to go ahead and clear your outbreak. If it's a shiny, great. If it's not a shiny, then you're just going to move on and leave the zone after you're done. Now, if you look around in the area, there's no more Chansey spawning, which means they're pretty much done. The outbreak is complete. So if you want to just go ahead, hit this last Chansey, and it's completely done. When you completely clear the outbreak for the Chanseys, just like the Krikatoon example, then the zone is done and you can exit out of the area and new stuff will spawn. So if you're a single mass outbreak hunter, then you're going to leave after clearing out an outbreak, go back to Jubilee Village, and see what you want to go hunt and go for that single one. So you're not really caring about saving too much except until you get a shiny. So you're going in and going out and going in and going out. That's what single mass outbreak hunting is. Now, if you are single mass chain hunting, it's a lot more different. You are going to go into the zone just like this. I saved at the camp earlier so you can save at the camp. And then what you're going to do is we're going to reset the game because we just determined that all the chances we found were not shiny. So let's go ahead and reset this game. So we're going to close the software, open up the software. Now, once you open up your software, you're going to be back in the Crimson Mirelands and you're going to be in the exact same area that these chances were. The difference is we didn't save after we cleared out the outbreak and we already know that this Chansey outbreak doesn't have any shinies in it. So what we're going to do is literally just walk out of here. And in order to get the chain going, you're going to want to talk to the guy with the outbreak message and see if the Chansey spawned again. So I'm going to go ahead, see what he says. I'm hearing one of the reports of mass outbreaks out there. And as you can see over here on the map, Chansey's here again. This is now considered a chain because this is now a different spawns because we walk back out. So if I go back in, we're going to go back into the bog bound camp. And as soon as you get back in here, you're going to save once again within the area. This will now be your chain number two that you're working on. So we're on chain two now, and I'm going to go over and head to Chansey. Now, these Chanseys that we encounter are not going to be the same ones that we just encountered. They're completely different. They're going to be different in stats. They're going to be different in height. They're going to be completely different in weight. You can see yourself if you want to catch it and test it out for yourself. Go ahead. I already did the testing to save you guys the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and catch these. And maybe maybe we get an Alpha Chansey or a Shiny to spawn. Possibly, I would take both. There, there it is. There it is, a shiny, oh my God, the shiny chain works. So this is shiny chain number two. Dude, this is the second shiny we got in the tutorial. So there's shiny Chansey right there in the tutorial for us. Uh, we wanna be a little bit careful here. So I'm just, I, you know, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it crazily hard. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw this berry down here. Let it go, let it go for it here. Cause I, I do not want this to mess up. And we're gonna throw that right there. Hopefully we get the shiny. And that is why 
you do chain hunting. So as I just showed in this example, I came back again. You follow my exact way of doing this. You'll come back and you'll get another shiny. And oh my God, I cannot believe I just got a chain shiny in the same video that I'm talking about. Just alone in this video, you have just seen two shinies in the game. I've shown you one via the single method, which is going to be the cricket tune as you saw before. We just got it and we left. We didn't care about it. We're the one and done. The Chansey that you just saw was a chain reaction and you saw we had no Chansey shiny. We came back to Jubilife. We came back again and there was shiny Chansey. It's done. I don't need to be bothered here. Now, I could continue the chain. There's a possibility there could be another shiny. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But what I can do is I can just catch the rest and see if another shiny spawns. What do I have to lose at this point, you know? So the reported Pokemon all seem to be gone. The shiny Chansey outbreak is now done and we have claimed a shiny from it. Now, because I got a shiny from a single outbreak that exists, I'm going to save my game now because it's very important that I keep the shiny and don't reset to make any mistakes. So I got my shiny Chansey and I'm going to head out, leave the camp again. There are two things I want to mention to you about shiny chain hunting so you don't get confused. Number one, if you do leave the camp and come back to the village to try to get a second chain or third chain or fourth chain, depending on what you are on, and you do not see that same Pokemon, just simply reset the game again, come out of the camp, because it happens. It sometimes will switch out the Pokemon, and or it'll sometimes be nothing. So just do that in case that happens. The second thing I want to mention to you is, as you do these chains more and more and more, I noticed that the spawn rate starts to slow down. I did so many chains with Earthring when I was hunting it down uh, during a chain hunt that it ended up being just four Earthring in total, and that was it. That was the chain. Every time I went back, it was just four Earthring, nothing else. So I think they dwindled down over time. So just keep that in mind as you are chain hunting. I feel like the game knows that it is possible to chain hunt as they give you a way to chain hunt when you walk out of the zone and come back into a zone when you don't complete the outbreak. The final method that we are going to be talking about is known as multi-mass outbreak hunting. I guess I have to look at a screen. I, it's a big new, it's a big name. Multi-mass outbreak hunting. It's going to be two or more spawns that you want to check and make sure they are. Because what if Shinx was a shiny and what if Swina was a shiny? Then you're going to have to determine which one you actually want. So in order to do multi-chain shiny hunting, you're going to see the map, see what's there. Is it two or more? Great. Then what you're going to be doing is going to save your progress right before entering any of these zones. And then you're going to talk to this guy and pick the zone you want to go in. So let's go Swinubs. They're a lot more calm and uh, cool and collected, and they're going to be pretty close to the starting camp. So we're gonna go to the snow fields. There they are. There's four of them right there. All right, so the Swinub location's right over here. Look at all of them just, just chilling, and I'm gonna just ultra ball them real quick. It'll be pretty easy. I don't think these guys are aggressive. Yeah, they're nice. So I checked all the Swinubs, and it says the reported Pokemon seem to be gone. None of them were shiny in this area, so all I'm going to do is just reset my game. I'm going to go back to my map, and then I'm going to go walk into the Shinx area. If it was shiny, I would still exit out regardless, do the exact same thing, knowing it's going to be a shiny, and see if the Shinx is also shiny. Then I'm going to have to maybe, you know, decide which one... I want. Do I want a Shinx or a Swinub? I don't know. Maybe you can ask your chat if you're streaming. This is a great thing to do if you're streaming. Okay, we're now going to head over to the Shinx and it is close to Mountain Camp. So we're just going to go ahead, pop this open, click on the Shinx, go to Mountain Camp. So we are here. Here's the Shinx spawn. Okay, these guys don't look uh, little, too crazy to catch. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to smoke ball. The Shinx is a very aggressive monster. I don't want to deal with it. Or just getting it. They're only level 12 to 14. It's not too bad. Okay, so there's only three more Shinx left on the map, and I'm pretty sure that there's not going to be a shiny now because there's three left. It, there would be four. So basically, this Shinx is a fail. If you're going to be doing multi-mass outbreak hunting or MMO hunting as uh, a good abbreviation for it. So we checked on the swine up. It wasn't shiny and we just had a Shinx left, right? So when we arrived at the Shinx area, all we had to do was just save at a camp, go ahead, check the Shinx. If the Shinx wasn't shiny, then we just had to reset the game and it would put us right out of camp. We exit from the camp, go back to the village, and then you would get more spawns. You do the same thing. You're going to keep hitting every spawn. And if all the spawns are not shiny and you hit your final spawn, you save on that final spawn out of camp and then walk out. That way you can cycle through spawns very fast. That's pretty much how I got all my shinies today. Most of my shinies today were done via the multi-mass outbreak hunting. That Chansey I got today was the first shiny chain I actually got. I was trying for Earthring earlier and I did not get that. But that is that is the shinies. Here are our shinies that we got just from the tutorial video. So if you watch the tutorial, 
you are a very cool person and you should probably subscribe and you will be blessed with a lot of shiny luck and get two shinies just by watching this tutorial you probably can follow along and you might be blessed with the shiny so congratulations guys you are now professional mass outbreak shiny hunters i hope this guide serves you very well on your journey throughout the hisui region it's going to be a lot of fun to see what you guys have so if you do have twitter follow me on twitter and if you catch any of these shinies using these methods let me know if you're using the single mass outbreak method the single mass outbreak shiny chain method the multi mass outbreak spawn method let me know which one you're using one two or three you can even tag me on instagram let me see them i will repost them in one of my future youtube videos if you do show me what you got this is a really cool method again we just expanded our shinies by even more. You can have tons of shinies if you do follow this. Again, go back if you need help with anything. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and want content like this. I hope this guide serves you well on your journey. Again, my name is Philly B2. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.